What's up everyone? It's Kelly and today I've got another swatch and review for you. So today we are talking about the new Nightlife collection from ILNP for winter 2023. This is their second 2023 collection. Their first one was more of a traditional holiday vibe and now we get more of a New Year's slash late winter kind of feel. So before we get into it, if you haven't heard of ILNP before, they are an independent nail polish brand based in the US and all of their polishes are 10 free, meaning they are free of 10 of the potentially harmful ingredients. They can be found in nail polish. They are vegan, meaning they do not use any animal derived ingredients. And they're also cruelty free, meaning they do not test their products on animals. So like I said, we've got a different vibe going on for this collection. There are actually six new magnetic nail polishes. They're all in super, super deep shades and they all have a little hollow sparkle going on as well. So if you are new to magnetics or if you're intimidated by them, I actually just recently did a video on everything you need to know about magnetic nail polish. It's part of my nail polish 101 series. So I get into all of the basics, all of the different techniques that you can use and how to troubleshoot your magnetics. So check that out if you don't know. But yeah, let me just jump into the swatches. I'm going to show you the polishes magnetized in the cat eye style as well as the aura slash velvet style. So let's just dive right in and roll the swatch footage. So as with all of my swatch review videos, I am using base coat underneath all of my swatches just to protect my natural nail and prevent knee stains. Today I'm using the Island P base coat. Starting off with this first shade, this one's called VIP and this is a blackened teal magnetic polish that is absolutely packed with a hollow sparkle. So the magnetic pigment is actually the teal shimmer running throughout and it's in this blackened base with the hollow sparkle. So it is really gorgeous just on its own. It has a lot of depth. You can see it's just totally packed with that magnetic pigment and when you focus all of that magnetic pigment it looks really stunning but I'm getting ahead of myself because because honestly, I loved the way that this looked unmagnetized. I would totally wear this black and teal. I love that lit from within look that I get in two coats. It's just really, really stunning. But I did get full coverage in those first two coats. And what I like to do is I like to do a third coat to magnetize. So I'll just do a slightly thicker coat. And then while that polish is still wet, I'll hold my magnetic wand over it. And that's how I get my cat eye style. And let me tell you, I was blown away when I pulled the magnet away. All of that teal pigment went to the center of the nail and then we were left with this intense black base with the hollow sparkle giving it such a cosmic look it really does look like a little galaxy on the nails without any effort whatsoever so totally impressed with that but I also wanted to try it in the aura or velvet kind of style and I thought that was really beautiful too it definitely gave a velvety kind of look almost like this lit from within velvet if that makes sense because when I moved my nail around it kind of looked black but then when the light hit it and that teal pigment it just totally glowed but also I think this actually still does look pretty cosmic in the aura style so very very happy with this one next up we have the shade after hours this is another blackened magnetic polish with the hollow sparkle running throughout but this color is actually really interesting that magnetic shimmer in there head on it looks like a blue to indigo kind of duochrome shade but around the edges I actually got a little bit of warmth it almost shifted into this pinky coppery orange into yellow kind of color so it was really cool to just see how that shifted at extreme angles but again on its own just absolutely stunning in two coats it had a little bit more of that pearlescent brush strokiness to it which I thought was really interesting I've only recently discovered that type of pigment in magnetic polishes in my recent Cirque video so I was really excited excited to see how this one was going to magnetize, especially in that cat eye style. And I was so pleased with how it looked. I think it's so cool that you almost can see the lines of the brush stroke while the magnetic pigment is kind of pulled towards that center. Just really, really stunning. It gave another cosmic kind of vibe to me with that intense black sparkly background. And it's just so impressive how responsive the magnetic pigment is that it pulls in so sharply into that one line. So really, really enjoyed the way that it looked in the cat eye style. But again, I wanted to try it in that aura velvet kind of style. And I was really excited with how this one turned out as well, especially with that slight brush strokiness. I feel like this definitely gave me a more marble kind of look, like a little 3D marble. So I thought that was really beautiful. And I was able to see that intense blue color really well. And especially when I was moving my nail at different angles, I could see the other colors popping through. 
so. I just thought it was really fun. Next up, we have the shade High Roller. I have a feeling this is going to be everybody's favorite of the collection because it's a truly stunning one. This is head on mostly this blackened purple, but around the edges, you actually see a lot of this fuchsia pink as well. So it's almost like a duochrome magnetic pigment. And again, we do get a ton of that holographic sparkle as well. And again, I just loved the way that this looked unmagnetized. I'm going to talk about it a little bit more at the end of the swatches, but if this collection just came out as it was without the magnetic pigment, I would totally be all over it. The fact that it has the magnetic pigment just makes it even more exciting and special to me. So very, very pleased about that. But again, I did go in with a third coat to magnetize. First, I did the cat eye style, which again, looks really, really stunning and sharp. It pulled all of that pigment towards the center. And I'm just really impressed with how black that base color ends up getting, especially because when you're applying it, it just looks so full of that magnetic shimmer. So again, just very impressed with how responsive and strong that magnetic pigment is. Again, definitely a little bit of a cosmic vibe, but here's where I started to get like a little laser light show vibe, which I think is what they were going for for this collection. So very pleased with that. Again, I wanted to do the aura style as well. And this was another one that gave me a very velvety sort of look. And you could just see the intensity of that purple pigment in there. It definitely had a really beautiful blue undertone to it, which made it contrast so nicely with that pinky tone that I was also getting in there. So another really stunning shade. Next up, we have the shade Jet Setter, which actually looks pretty similar to High Roller, but especially once you see it in the comparison, you'll see the differences. But the main difference with this one is that this is more of a pink in that black base with the hollow sparkle running throughout. And it does have a little bit of a purpley tone to it or kind of a fuchsia vibe, but this is another one that has that strong duochrome. So at certain angles, it looks like more of a fuchsia slash cool toned pink, but it also warms up really nicely on the nail as well. And then in extreme angles, I can actually see a little bit of orange into yellow and even into green. So really, really stunning. Again, it kind of has that lit from within look, which I think is so beautiful. It definitely has overall a little bit of a lighter look from the other shades that I've reviewed so far. So I was really curious to see how this one would look in the cat eye style. And again, just that really beautiful, very stark contrast between that magnetic pigment, especially being as bright as it is versus that black base with the hollow. It does still give me a very cosmic starry kind of vibe, but again, I'm seeing a lot of that light show kind of look and it's super fun. It kind of reminds me of like neon signs. And then when I magnetized this one in the aura slash velvet kind of style, I think that's when I was really able to see the differences between this one and High Roller because you can see just how strong that pink color is. And especially when I move my nail around, you can see it getting a little bit warmer and even into that kind of coppery color. So another absolutely stunning shade, no matter which way you wear it. Moving on, we have the shade Roulette and this one is a red in a blackened base with the hollow sparkle. And this one I think ended up being my favorite in the collection, which is actually very hard to say because because truly I was blown away by all of the colors in this set. I think they're so stunning. This one actually did feel like it was going to be a little bit more sheer. In that first coat, it looked a lot less pigmented than the others, but I was still able to get full coverage in two. And you can see that red is actually more of a duochrome. So it shifts into an almost coppery orange color as well, which is really beautiful. Again, because it's that lighter magnetic color without the magnetization, it does look like a lighter shade, but it still looks very blackened and intense on the nails. So again, I put on a third coat to magnetize this one. And honestly, I think a lot of these, I would be able to get away with magnetizing in the second coat just because they're really opaque. This one, you definitely want to magnetize the third coat if your nail length is like mine, because it did look a little bit more sheer in that first coat. And if you really want that intensity of the black base, I always recommend doing that extra coat. But yeah, it looks really, really stunning. I love how intense that red looks against the 
black background and how it kind of shifts into that orangey color. It was so beautiful and I was really excited to magnetize it in the aura style as well just because I knew it would be such an intensely bright color and again give me that sort of lit from within look. Honestly they all did give me that lit from within look just because the shimmer looks so stark against that dark background but this one especially it just kind of looked like glowing embers in a fire which I thought was so beautiful. So really really happy with this one. Again I think it might be my favorite but it's hard to say. And the final polish of the collection is this one jackpot and this is a blackened gold magnetic polish with that hollow sparkle running throughout and this is something I feel like I've been talking about a lot lately but something that I truly enjoy is a very yellow gold and honestly I don't even know if I would consider this one to be gold it's more of a yellow metallic which I love I think it looks so beautiful and vibrant it definitely gives me strong new year's vibes just this polish unmagnetized looks Looks like the perfect New Year's polish to me. We've got that deep blackened base around the edges and then when the light hits it you get this intense golden yellow color and you still get that hollow sparkle. So really really beautiful unmagnetized. Now as far as the magnetic version of this goes, first I tried on the cat eye style and I actually found that this one was the least intense when magnetized. I think the magnetic pigment in here is just not as reactive as the other five polishes in the collection. You can still get a nice line. It actually reminded me a little bit of like a tiger's eye stone, but I did find that it wasn't as intense as the others and I still had a little bit of that gold sparkle running throughout the nail. So I was a little bit disappointed in that, but I still really love the way that the polish looks unmagnetized. So I'm not going to be too hard on it, but I did experience the same situation when I was trying to do the aura style. It just wasn't pulling up too much of that magnetic pigment. And I did do some of my troubleshooting tips that I mentioned in in my Magnetics 101 video, but I still just found that this one was not as intense of a magnetic pull as the others. So here are all the polishes together in the cat eye magnetized style, just to give you a little hint of what it looks like with all of them together, because I think some of them seemed a little bit similar when they were not side by side, like After Hours, High Roller, and Jet Setter, but you can really see that gradient from blue to purple into pink with them, and and I just love how intense those lines of magnet are in most of them. I think they're so beautiful. I love the color choices here. I love that they give me that sort of galaxy vibe on the nails. I think they're just so beautiful. But I also just wanted to show you what all of them look like side by side without magnetizing at all. So this was just two coats unmagnetized for all the polishes because I have to say I am fully in love with this collection. I think that ILNP has been doing so many beautiful full sets this year and I've just been so impressed by them but this one is definitely my favorite of the year. This is definitely going to be in my top favorite collections of the year even though it's pretty much the end of the year and this just came out. I am immediately enamored by them. I think they're so beautiful. I love that blackened base with that glowing pigment inside of it. I love that they give us that option to have magnetic versions of them. I love that hollow sparkle. I'm just so impressed with these. I don't know. I I think they look so beautiful side by side unmagnetized. So it's going to be a tough decision when I wear them if I'm going to magnetize them or not because I think they just look so beautiful both ways. So those are the polishes and overall I'm super impressed with them. The majority of them did react really well to the magnet and one thing that I have found with ILNP magnetics in general is that they're just super responsive which means that I always get a really sharp magnetic line for that cat eye style and in this case I thought it looked really cool with that kind of black background and the really intense intense magnetic color. It almost just reminded me of like a laser light show, which was definitely giving me good New Year's vibes, but I feel like that works any time of year. And then also having that hollow sparkle around in the black made it also feel kind of cosmic. So yeah, really impressed with these. I also appreciate having that whole rainbow of colors because I feel like these can work any time of year if you're looking for that darker, more jeweled tone kind of vibe. And I just think they're really fun. So definitely appreciate them. Love seeing ILNP do more magnetics 
because they are already a top magnetic brand in my opinion and they actually have not been doing magnetics for that long so it's very impressive now let's talk about pricing and availability all of these polishes come in 12 milliliter bottles they have what i like to call a medium wide flat brush so it's not too wide it's not too thin and all of the polishes are available on the ilnp website for 12 dollars and 50 cents usd each now do keep in mind the magnetic wand is available to purchase separately but if you already have a magnetic wand you don't need to purchase a new one once you have a nail polish magnet it should work for any brand but yeah that is it for my thoughts i'm curious to hear what you think of these polishes which is your favorite are you planning on picking any of them up and if so let me know which ones in the comments we can chat about it and if you enjoy my swatch and review videos please hit that like button it really helps me out it lets me know i'm doing a good job and if you're not already subscribed to my channel please consider subscribing i put out new videos every monday wednesday and friday and of course a huge shout out to my supporters on patreon my royal astronomer amanda m as well as my cosmic admirals paula ken and rosie i really appreciate your support and i'll see you all in my next video bye today's fun fact question comes from patreon supporter megan d and megan d wants to know what is the coolest live performance you have seen i used to actually go to so many concerts and i've also been to a bunch of festivals which is interesting considering i feel like my anxiety kind of keeps me from doing that sort of stuff often but i have actually been to so many concerts especially like in my i, I want to say like 18 to 25 years i went to so many concerts that i actually couldn't even tell you all the ones i've been to i have forgotten a lot of them <laughs> actually fairly recently i did go to a really incredible festival it was last october me and my bestie leah went to the when we were young festival here in vegas and they just had a bunch of artists on a bunch of different stages performing and leah actually got us tickets which we did not realize until like halfway through the day that the tickets that we had were backstage artist passes so once we figured that out we realized we had access to like the backstage area where the artists were hanging out and then also just because it was like a huge campground where they just had so many different stages the backstage area was actually different roadways where people were taking the artists on golf carts to their specific stage so once we figured that out we were taking the golf carts to the different stages that we wanted to see and i i think we were allowed to like actually get up on the stage and be like kind of in the wings and watch but we did not do that we just kind of jumped in the front and got to watch the artists perform which was super cool and also we did get some funny interactions <laughs> with some of the artists so that was a fun time as well yeah huge shout out to leah for getting us those incredible tickets i actually did vlog that experience on my second youtube channel my vlog channel but i didn't show too much of like the backstage stuff just because i feel like i didn't want to intrude on anybody's privacy there but it was super super fun but yeah if anybody wants to share their favorite concert experience let me know in the comments we can chat about it and i will see you all in my next video bye